Alright, this package doesn't have any uh, cables included, just the monitor itself. Um, this works with any micro USB cable. Um, I just connected it on any USB port at the back of my computer. And yeah, it will uh, turn on automatically. There's no uh, switch on the monitor itself. Once it's connected by USB, by a USB, it will turn on automatically. Okay, and dito na tayo sa installation ng mga drivers and software na kailangan ninyo. No? So basically, you need Zarig. You need to download this first. Uh, this is the driver for the uh, the, the monitor itself. Uh, you need to download this on the website. Uh, all the links will be on the description below. Okay. So you need to make sure that you change this part here and change it to um, this one. A Win32 uh, little USB and then click on install driver so I already installed mine um, just uh, showing you how to do it Okay, now pag na-install nyo na siya, punta kayo sa device manager. Okay, pag na-install nyo siya, may kita nyo siya sa uh, itong USB Win32 devices. May kita nyo siya dyan, ang USB display. Uh, you make sure na connected na, connected na yung ano, small monitor dun sa computer nyo. Para mag-appear din siya sa device manager. Okay. Now this time we need to download the ADA64 um, software. Uh, you need to go to the website and you can download that from uh, ADA64 website. So I already have mine already. I'm uh, just showing you how to install it. I already have it installed on my computer. Alright, so once you have 864 installed on your computer, you need to go to preferences. Alright, and then from preferences, uh, you can go and scroll down to ILCD, and then from there it will be automatically be detected by the 864. And then from there you can customize uh, the, uh, the entire interface of what you want to see in a monitor. You have a different types of menu. If you click new, uh, you can see different options and you can just play around with the settings uh, with, with, with the menu with the settings that you wanted to change or what you wanted to uh, see on your Z monitor okay so another option for you to do is you can actually visit the 8064 website there's actually a forum there where you can actually see different teams uh, already customized themes that you can download uh, you're gonna have to make sure that you have the um, the uh, same um, resolution as with your monitor because there's other resolution that is like 1080p you need to make sure you find a 480 by 320 resolution otherwise it will not fit on your screen okay all right so once you're able to find the file or the team you just need to click import and find the location of that file and it will uh, be uh, it will be imported on the 8064 and then you can play around with the settings if you want to change uh, some um, information on the team so you can just uh, click uh, each file and then click modify that's it 